Hey what's up guys welcome back you're watching Furute in the world of custom roms there are lots of roms available which has lots of customizations but they have same boring customizations only few custom rom has their own custom features but there is one custom rom which has tons of their own custom features that none of other roms offers it is the number one highly customizable rom called as ancient os Finally, the first bit of Ancient OS has made available by the Ancient OS team and the maintainer Dhruvesh for the Nothing Phone 1. Flashing of ROM is same like we did for other custom ROMs. Link of instruction is given under the video description. You can follow that video. Today in this video, we will check the Ancient OS details of about phone. We will do the performance check using the Geekbench and the UI Bench. I did the CPU stability testing using the CPU throttle. And this ROM has done amazing job. I tested all the major and the unique customizations for this ROM. At last I shown some bugs with my final verdict. So watch the video till the end. My installation of ROM is done and phone started to boot into the amazing boot animation of Ancient OS. Now with the further ado, let's get started. As I did the clean installation, phone booted to the setup screen. This ROM didn't come with the Pixel Launcher. It has the launcher called as the Ancient Home with this new wallpaper. Let's check out the about phone details of the ROM. Ancient OS version is 7.1 Texas Cake. Build type is Steel. Android version is 13 with the same Metroid Clock history. Android security patch is of February 2023. That's only thing is old found here. Kernel version is 5.4.233, build date with the latest Clang toolchain version 14.0.6. Kernel say Linux is enforcing ROM build date is of 26 April 2023. Except the security patch, other things are latest ones. Soon developer will release the ROM based on the latest security patches. Now first we will discuss the performance of this new ROM. Initial impression of this ROM is very good. It's running buttery smooth for all the activities like apps opening, closing, switching between applications, scrolling. RAM management is also very good. By default, ROM is running on the 120Hz adapt to mode. Means when display is in use, it runs on the 120Hz and when you stop the uses, it goes down to the 60Hz. This helps to save battery life of the device. But if we enable the force 120Hz using the developer setting, it will constantly run on the 120Hz except some applications like camera. When I ran the Geekbench test, I got the score of 1066 and 2874. Both of these scores are closer to the top performing ROM for the nothing phone that is paranoid Android. We can say for the CPU performance, ROM will rank second place in the rank list. Next I did the OpenGL graphics API test and I got the score of 1922 and for Vulkan graphics we got the score of 2585. These scores are slightly higher than any of the custom ROM for nothing phone 1. For GPU performance ROM ranks first place, overall ROM extremely superior in terms of real life and numerical values. Next I did the UI bench jitter test, less the jitter value, more fluid the scrolling and swiping in the ROM. For this ROM, this value always remained below 0.5 millisecond during whole the test. Even I tried some application during the test, still not a single rise of values were found. It remained below 0.5 millisecond, which shows that ROM has extremely fast scrolling and swapping performance. Next test I did for the CPU stability using the CPU throttle application. We already tested lots of Android 13 ROMs for the Nothing Phone 1. That shown the bad CPU throttling performance. Their score always remained below 80%. So let's check out how this ROM will handle the CPU stability. After running the test on the 20 threads for the 5 minutes, I got the score of 93%, which is very good score. Not a single performance drop were found during this test. After a long time, we got such a good score as compared to the any Android 13 based custom ROM or stock ROM. We'll quickly check out what's working. I will not waste the time here because we have to thoroughly check the amazing features of this ROM ladder. Everything is working like Wafa, Wafa hotspot, Bluetooth with the all HD audio codecs. All the VLT HD incoming and outgoing calls are working with the call recording feature. Call quality is also clear. There are no any call quality issues I found here. 
All the sensors like the accelerometer, light, proximity, magnetometer, compass, gyroscope are working. Other important features like the microphone, ear proximity, ear speakers are working well. Auto brightness, NFC and GPS are working fine. Both the fingerprint and face unlock are working. They are blazing fast with the great accuracy. Now comes the important part that is camera. ROM comes with the nothing OS camera application which has working photo and portrait mode shots. Ultra HD mode is also working fine. All the photo filter modes are working. All the wide angle camera modes are working well. Portrait mode for the both the front selfie and the main camera is working. Portrait pics has the good background blur effect. But the main problem arises for the video shooting. Camera video shooting hangs for a second when you start to shoot videos and no camera recording were found under the gallery section. This issue is happening for all the video shooting modes like the slow motion, time lapse, etc. Camcorder light for the video recording is not working. Glyph flash is also not working, but we can use the glyph tile under the quick setting panel as a glyph flash. Under the mode setting, panorama, macro mode and export mode are working fine. Video recording issue is the only issue that we will face for nothing camera and for any other third party camera application. Now let's check out the important part that is the Glyph Light. Glyph Light has the Glyph Brightness slider control. It has call and notification animation toggles, battery level flip to Glyph like setting. Call animation has this single type of Glyph animation for all the calls. We didn't get the new presets of Glyph that were found in the new Paranoid Android ROM. Flip to Glyph is working but sometimes it may not pop up immediately. Battery level indicator is also working but it didn't have the battery indicator when you slightly moves the phone. Glyph notification animation has issue that we'll discuss under the bug section of the video. Safety net is passing in the ROM so we can able to use all the banking and security applications without any issues. ROM storage is encrypted. Now let's check out the amazing customizations hub for this ROM. Under the main setting we get the option called as the craft with heart where all the customization features are categorized in the different options. Under the add-ons option, who gets the unique ancient UI switch toggle. If you enable this, who gets the new clock at the top of the quick setting panel. Who can change the clock type and the location of this clock also. Here are some of the ancient UI clock styles who gets. Who gets the new header image option to add any type of image as a header for the quick setting panel? We can choose any picture as a header image. Who gets the toggle to disable the header image in the landscape mode also? Except this, we can also able to set the colors as a header image instead of pictures. We also get the custom dimension setting so we can able to expand the header image size which looks cool. One of the funky and the unique option we got is the status bar style. Only two types of status bar styles we get here. To activate them, we need to restart the system we are using the advanced power menu. We can also able to change this funky status bar heights and width. Next important part of customization is themes. Under this tab, we get the quick setting styles. Here we get the bunch of different styles. You can take a quick look of them. Scream color is one of the different and unique part I found here. Who gets this sum of the scream color option? Scream color will only appear when the scrolling page ends and it looks like this. Card view is one of the unique setting I got here. We can apply the card view to the settings panel and can able to change its style using the bunch of the different setting. Like adding the arrows in the icons, circular icons for the card icons card color styles, all these settings completely change the original look of settings panel that you never seen in any of the custom ROM. Who gets some of these presets for the ancient setting and the setting home page, take a quick look of these themes.
Another different customization is for the SIG bar. These are some of the SIG bar style for the settings panel and they give something different look to the panel. User interface styles option has lots of different presets for the material themes. Under the lock screen clock font we get some amazing looking clock font styles but I didn't find my all time favorite road rage clock font. Under the quick settings panels we get the quiz panel transparency slider, volume panel percentage and style gives the complete different look to the volume panel with these presets. Under the lock screen we get the ancient clock styles for the lock screen. Check out this next level clock look which will enhance the look of your lock screen. We also get the customizations for the ambient always on display. We can able to add the text on the ambient display, we can able to change its style, size and the color also. We get option to add the images on the always on display screen, that looks cool. We get the bunch of under display fingerprint icons with the animations. Under the battery setting we get the smart pixel to save battery under critical situations. Block sensor helps to block the sensors for any system or user applications who so can use device in prolonged uses. Under the miscellaneous setting, we get game mode, toggle to enable the unlock higher FPS for the games, unlimited photo backup, Netflix spoofing, etc. Google services option helps to disable the Google services which helps to improve the battery life in certain scenarios. Parallel space helps to add multiple users and their duplicate applications. Weather setting helps to add weather condition and their icons on the lock screen and in the quick setting panel. These are amazing and unique customizations. Some of them can't be found in any of the custom ROM. ROM comes with the ancient home. It has all the custom features like the icons, home screen, application draw customizations, along with the miscellaneous features like the taskbar, hidden and protected applications, etc. Now let's check out the bugs and the issues. All known issue of wideband security on L3 is still persisting here, so we can't able to use Netflix or the Amazon Prime at the full HD resolution. Netflix spoofing toggle under miscellaneous setting is working or not is unknown, so let us know in the comment section is it working or not. Next is wallpaper and style application did not have theme icon setting, but we guess that under the launcher setting, but none of them working for the theming of the dock and the app drawer applications. Under the buttons customizations, we get the volume rocker wake up setting, but it doesn't waking up the screen. Under the lock screen, we get the media cover art setting for the lock screen, but it's not working. Some of the themes of ancient US setting causes the force close of settings apps when you try to open the safety and emergency setting. Notification glyph animation didn't working for any of the notifications. ROM didn't have the wireless charging setting. It's only available for the Pixis OS till the date. Except this work, no other major issues I found here. This ROM has the another level of customizations that I never found in any of highly customizable ROM, but that doesn't mean it has the low performance and stability. It has the outstanding performance with the great stability. Only bug of video recording for the camera is deal breaking. Once that gets solved, this will be my top ranked custom ROM. That's it for today guys, hope you liked my work, then please do like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.